Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. The border of your garment is the end of your garment. So men wear shirts a lot. Back in the day, they used to wear garments. They ran all the way down to the past knees sometimes. Wait. But at the border of your garment, which is the end of your garment, or for a woman, the end of her dress, right. which is the bottom of her dress, that's where you put your fringes. Right. Wait. Read. Throughout their generation. How long is throughout your generations? All of them. Lifetime. <laughs> so right. how long? Right. So has it ended? Forever. It never went away, right? Because no. we're still making what? Children. Yeah. Children are our generations. Right. Every time we make more children and then they make children and they make children, we, those are our generations. So it was never supposed to end. It right. said throughout your generations, read. And then they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. That's not an option. The ribbon has to be blue. The fringe can be whatever color you want them. You can have a match your shoes. You can have a match your hair. You can do all of that. Right. But you have to wear fringes, and it has to have a ribbon of blue. That's, that's what right. God said. That's not what we said. This Bible was written a long time ago. It right. was written from the beginning, and we're reading it now. Right. That was always there. Keep you understand it. that? So, brother, did you know about the law of fringes? Yes, I do. Why don't you wear your fringes? I just don't. You just, just don't. I just don't. So wow. you know that you're in sin. Wow. Yes, I do. So Hebrews 10 and 26. Bring no, start at 25. Let's go to 20 and read through 26. Yeah. Hebrews 10 and 26. Because we understand that we have to keep the laws of God. We have to understand the laws of God. And once we understand the laws of God, we have to have a reason not to do it. We're not this no more. The chains are off the neck. That means you it's in your mind. You mentally change. But you know that converting means to change your mind right. back to God's ways, and yet you chose to walk outside the door without your friend is on. Right. Well, you knew the law. Right. This is it. Read. It out, Hebrews out. chapter 10, verse 26. Bring it out. Now, for if we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, if I know I'm supposed to be wearing fringes, if I know that you were supposed to be wearing a dress, and you chose to walk out the door anyway, dressed any kind of way, mm. read. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. You already knew the knowledge of the truth. You knew that you was an Israelite from the tribe of Gad. You knew that you were an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. You can't put Christ back up on the cross again and die for you again. Mm. Okay. That's why he died in the first place. He, he brought God. down in the first place to bring Israel grace. Nobody else. That's he brought right. us grace. Right. There ain't no grace for anybody else. Right. He, he died on the cross for Israel. Give me grace. Right. Give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. We're going to explain what grace is. Right now, you're on the grace. The reason you made it all the way here right now is because of God's grace. Because you know, Christ died on that cross, and you, told, you chose to sin willfully. That's still grace going on with you right now. So right. I, I, I suggest that you heed what we're saying right now, oh, yes. and you get back to it. Titus? What? Titus 2 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Titus 2 and 11. My bad. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared. Hold on. Grace of God bringing salvation. Who needs saving? Mm, teach. Who needs saving? All the man. So who? What? What people on the earth are below everybody else? He. What? Did you know that sixty-five thousand black Is women that? missing in America? Wake them up. Did you know that? Sixty-five thousand black women look just like you right. are missing in America. Right. How come you don't see it on the news, sis? Cause you're black. Right. Not That's just right. cause you're black. But because you're an Israelite, according to the Bible, right. God put these curses on us for a reason. We're the only people that need salvation. Right. Everybody else is above us. We're right. on the rock bottom. We can't get no lower. That's right. We're the ones that need salvation. Right. Read. For the grace of God bring, that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. 
That was Jesus the Christ. That's that grace that appeared to all men. Right. He came to us. The all men he's talking about is the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. Read. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. So that grace is supposed to teach us something. You walked in front of us tonight so you can learn something. The truth. To learn that you was out of order and you're in yeah. sin because you ain't got just fringes on. You learn just for the first time that you're not have authority over men. And that you're supposed to have a dress on. And that you that, that you all of this is the grace of God leading you to us now. Right. It's right. up to you when you leave here, whether or not you're gonna keep God's laws or the world's laws. Right. That's up to y'all. Right. All we do is hit come out here, teach the truth, and then and that's the rest is up right. to you. But we're gonna keep telling you what grace is, read. Yeah. And worldly lust. That we should live soberly. We're supposed to live soberly. We ain't supposed to be drunk. We ain't supposed to walk around falling down drunk. Right. Right. We're allowed to drink, right. but we have to drink in moderation. Right. Christ drank wine, we can drink wine. Right. That's but right. we have to be done in moderation. So right. we ain't supposed to be drunk. Right. We ain't supposed to be high. Right. Read. Righteously. Righteously. What is righteousness? Righteousness is following the word of God. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. We're going to get it straight out of the Bible. Bring it out. Oh. You don't say, I'm using my words. Yeah. You'll say, I'm using God's word. Right. Yeah. You have to go? Let's finish this real quick. You got, you got to give it five minutes, right? Five minutes, we good? Read. Deuteronomy chapter tw six, verse 25. Read it out. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. That's how we get righteous. If right. we're righteous, we start doing laws, God's laws. Right. If we ain't keeping God's laws, then we are not righteous. Right. It's that simple, right? right. Yeah. Go back, read. Teaching us. That denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So if you're sober and you're doing the righteousness, keep the law, statutes, commandments of God, then you're then you're doing the things of God. You're, that means right. you're doing godly right. in right. this world. Read. Right. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, you will understand that. That's what the grace is for. First Corinthians 11 and 3, real quick. First Corinthians 11 and 3. Now there's something that she's keeping that you're not keeping. Right. And we're going to bring it out right now. now. I know you probably heard this scripture before, but we're going to bring it out because you know about the law of Corinthians. So you probably knew about this law as well. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. We, we went over this earlier. You, this is called the divine order, but we're going to get to a certain point. So we're going to read the divine order, then we're going to get to a certain point that you, you're actually keeping the law, and he's actually breaking the law. Read. Read. And the head of the woman is the man, read. and the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. That's right. Ah, uh, yes. I know. All praise. All praise. Can we get an applause? Yeah. Yeah. Applause for brother. <laughs> But he knew what the law was. But you yeah. stood out here the whole time, so you forgot that scripture. Right. When you yeah, came, and the brothers are prophesying. Every time yeah. we open this Bible and we speak it and we read it, we're prophesying. These are the words of prophecy. These ain't our words. Yeah. These came through the prophets. Right. This is prophecy when we open this Bible. Right. And anytime we pray, we do the same thing. We have to uncover our heads when right. we pray. So anytime we're listening, we're listening to rain for the word of God, we have to, you have to cover your head when you hear the Bible come down. He has to uncover his head. That's the law. It's that simple. Uh, you got any question before you go? Read it. No, I just oh, want to say I really enjoyed this. All right, oh, you got a flyer. Hey, Aaron, oh, I, I want her to see this once they show her. <laughs> it's an image of a sister in a dress so she can see how All right. beautiful it looks. Oh, you want to show it to Not to be shy. You want, you yeah, want so to show it to us? Yeah, yeah. Show her that, Aaron. Yeah, just take a look at this. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Before you leave. These are righteous sisters. This is what our Israelite sisters look like when they dress the way God wants us to dress. That's right. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that, right? Your sisters are beautiful, right? Just like our, all our sisters are beautiful. That's why the whole world is snatching our sisters up. Right. Because they're doing ungodly things. Right. They're walking around with their, with their behinds showing everywhere. Right. How, 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 how does a sister take a single pick? Come on. But first, that's not right. Mm. Right. We, we show the world our assets when, when, when that has nothing to do with anything. You understand? Right. Right. So dress the way God wants you to dress. God gave all of us a uniform. You got, you got to put on a dress. You got to put fringes on it. Right. That's the uniform of a woman. He's got to put his fringes on his on his garment. That's a that's a uniform of a man. Right. Not to be showing the whole world you're behind. Right. Because right. when you walk away from any place, what do men do? When men come and talk to you, what do they want? Do they want to marry you? No. Why? They just want to hit and quit it. That's right. what they want. Right. And you know that's what they want. Right. And that's because of the way you dress. If you dress like that, sister, that's not the business. They're not even going to approach you like that. That's right. Because they can't see nothing. That's, that's right. right. You are, you're already undressed in their eyes when you walk by dressed like that. Right. right. You understand that? Right. Right. All right, sis.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.